Hello everyone. Please don't let the heavy breathing dissuade you because we're doing perfectly fine. Um, picking up literally right where we left off from the last episode. Uh, hopefully making some more progress in the bottom of the well now that we have... Um, wait. Now that we have Zelda's Lullaby. Uh, hopefully, okay, so hopefully we can take care of that beeping. It's like the game knew exactly what I was wanting. So, came down here before. We're able to get some stuff, but kind of had to stop since we couldn't drain anything. We kind of had a productive episode last time, so I'm really hoping that <laughs> we continue. But, uh, thought there might have been an invisible chest right there. Okay. So we know that we can at least, um, fight the, uh, Ooh. I forgot what that thing is called. The really creepy thing with a million hands. Okay, that's a it's awesome start. We really would oh could use the compass though. So we are kinda lacking the Big ticket item of the Lens of Truth, the compass will at least let us know when we've gotten all the uh, chests out of here. Wow, that is extremely close. Okay, I guess just normal tech. Seem to take an extremely long time for him to let go. Oh, what? Is it like he only stays above ground for so long? This is worth it. I have a feeling that we're just gonna get like a key or something. Okay. Hopefully, one more time. Uh oh. Do we like it at the right point where he was going underground so it didn't count? Gross corpse over. Oh man. I think that there's. There it is. I know that there's a secret chest back here. Okay. At least with the compass, we can tell we got everything. Seems like there's quite a few chests. I know there's that one in that like like area where um how do you describe it? Um 
where we had to like figure out where the fake floor is. Man, we are still like still getting a bunch of rupees. So what is going on? Ooh, okay. That's actually pretty decent because that gives us <laughs> access to the bottom of the well, weirdly. Um, we don't have the sun song, do we? I don't know why I'm looking there. I could easily look up and see uh, what we got. Okay, what would be the best way to take care of this guy? I don't even know if boomerangs affect him. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay, that's not quite what I was hoping would happen. I can't see anything, so this is fantastic. I don't think there's anything in here besides a um, key, right? And I feel like last two times we did this, it was this back corner. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's anything. Okay, so that is random. The forest, the minuet of forest. Okay, okay. Uh, it almost makes me think that the last chest might be just a um, key. Because according to my little guide, which I didn't fill out for any of the keys I found, there's three in the bottom of the well and we found two down here. So, you know process of elimination, it must be the key. Now that there's like two keys in here, I don't remember where I used the other key. Oh, I already got it. Oh, cool. Thank you. Guess we will need some hearts. Eighteen. So two away, and we can go find another reward. Um, I just run straight across. Okay, cool. What is that guy sitting on? Is there like a fake wall right there? Big whiff? There we go. Well, all in all, I'll consider that a fruitful endeavor. I mean, we found two songs. One of them... I mean, having the, a warp song is always nice. It's, you know, makes it easier to travel, but at the, the same time... Uh... Ooh! Kind of forgot about that guy. Can I just... No, of course not. Um, Song of Storms does kind of open up a few things. Like I said, it gives us access to the bottom of the well. Entrance. <laughs> it's kind of hard describing the entrance and the actual place. So, you can now see what dungeon is at the bottom of the well. And also, we can hit the frogs. Right? I think their little thing gives us uh, 
uh, if we play them the song storms they give us a I think it's supposed to be a heart piece and I don't believe I remember trying to come here okay no I didn't let's say I remember trying to come visit this fairy fountain but we didn't have any bombs but thankfully we found some right here Okay, and then we'll mark off. That way you got it. one of the most useless things of the game. It's probably one of those things where there is like a really strong... No, that's not it. Wait, is that not how it goes? But yeah, I don't really quite understand the purpose of Ferrari's win. Oh. Okay, I forgot the the lead off. I don't know. Sorry, I will give us a song here, or has she already given us a song? Okay, so definitely not. It seems like we have to either. Seems like we either have to. Oh, you know what? While we're here, we should definitely get a fairy. Did not think about that until just now. Um. Yeah, it seems like sorry I won't teach us. Sorry, a song until we beat the Deku Tree, and I don't know if that means defeating Goma or getting the Spiritual Stone. I sometimes I feel like the triggers are not what you think. Like the fact that we got the Sheik song. At the Temple of Time, that is usually the prelude of light. Um. Yeah, I believe that's what it's supposed to be. After you defeat the Forest Temple. So it's like we didn't defeat the Forest Temple, but we did get the Forest Temple Medallion. And that seems to be like a trigger. What is what's going on here? How <laughs> come I can't get on this thing? Okay. Uh, we have a couple of things we want to try. There is something in reviewing old episodes that I completely beefed on. I won't uh, say anything outright. I'll just kind of wait till we get there <laughs> to mention my intentions. But maybe if you notice that I skipped something while well, I had the opportunity to... Um, Maybe this this is uh, your chance to scream at me all you want. Because when I saw it, I couldn't believe that I had done it again. I will say again because I'm pretty sure I've done it in a previous uh, run. Okay. So if you were watching, I don't remember what episode it was. Number... Which one is this? I think this is episode 5. Episode 3 or 4. I'm pretty sure it was 3 though. I came and did all the things around uh, Zora's Domain that I could. Including the diving minigame. Except I finished the mini game and then never collected my reward. Uh, and like I said, I'm pretty sure either in the vanilla run or the level one run, I did the exact same thing where I did it, I beat it, and just n never went up to claim my prize until after the fact. So I don't know what it is, but something about it just, I don't know. I guess maybe the song or 
uh, you know, like the little completion thing that it does when you complete something. Something about it, my brain says check, even though I didn't actually get anything. So, and watch it. I'm really hoping it's something important. Otherwise, uh, you know, there was no use for it if it's going to be more rupees. Okay. Of course, I will kick myself if it's like something incredibly important that I almost missed it. Oh, and uh, I'm going to kick myself for another reason then. Because not only was it rupees all along, it was the wrong opportunity to get rupees. Seeker Grotto is this fairy fountain. Nice to know, but not useful for us. Okay. We know that we'll right here we'll go see what the frogs have in store for us. And then we can kinda run up the edge and uh go to Kakariko. Because we have a couple things that we could go explore. Because we have the hook shot, and now we have the minuet at four, so we could just warp there as an adult. But, you know, we could see what's in the forest temple. I have been kind of holding off going back to the forest temple. Like the forest temple proper and completing it, or trying to do anything as an adult, because I know f from last time in level one you can't even move those giant blocks um, without the Goron's bracelet so there's no real point to being here <laughs> there's no real point in trying to complete it because I know we won't get very far we can't move the blocks we don't have the arrow so we can't even like um, doing the eye puzzles I mean the only thing we can do is like I guess open up a couple chests but, I don't know, that doesn't seem very worthwhile to me. And I'm going to put that bottle up, just in case I accidentally hit it. That's it. Hopefully that cuts out on our death count by having some fairies. We desperately need to get a Deku Shield. It kind of sucks that you always have the option to buy one. But I don't feel like anyone sells them. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't remember where one of them is at. Okay. What awaits us at the bottom? If it's Jabu Jabu's belly... Wasn't there some kind of connection? I feel like we read a gossip stone that has some kind of connection with Jabu Jabu. And, um, bottom of the well. Oh, sorry, wrong button. other right quadrant okay if it's jabu jabu jabu's jabu 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 we could theoretically beat it right oh nice okay i don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to especially since we have the uh 
boomerang. So, might as well press forward. There's no reason not to be here. my favorite part where you have to carry her not only be defenseless but also have to like deal with the fact that uh you do get hit you have to uh uh drop her and get her all over again okay I don't believe there's anything up there except fairy. Like I don't think there's a chest up there. Spit up. Boy, I love these bubbles. Oh, man. Well, you know what? I had to put you down to use my boomerang anyway, so. Oh, I was facing the right way. Okay, your highness, let's get cracking, because it won't take us that long. Typically, you have to do these in a certain order, because you don't have the boomerang, except we do. We can kind of be a little cheating. Okay, interesting. Guess it could be expected to uh have gotten that. Nope, I see that I have the Z target and I don't understand why I'm not locking on to it. Please keep your boomerang out. Okay, what's going on here? I can clearly see... Okay. I don't know if you know this, but we have a very limited time. For some reason, we only have 40 seconds to pop all these bubbles. Oh! We got bombs? Wow. That is incredible. Oh, you know what? That's my bad. At least he gave us some hearts to cover from that. These guys would fly up just a little higher. 
Oh, that is definitely not the one I... Oh, but I'll take that. These are, guys are super annoying just from the fact that they, like, burrow into the ground or something. I should have been jumping attacking. Okay, typically typically This is the boomerang. This it is the compass. Um Cool. Does that mean there's no more chests? That's crazy. So is there not a point? No, wait, what am I saying? We have to kill this guy. He's a little green thing that's blocking our path. Oh, wait. Skipped one. Yeah, I forgot about this. Tentacle progression. Well, hopefully, the uh, boss reward is something good because so far we haven't found anything new. No, I want, I want the big guy. I don't think. Yeah, see, that guy, the guy that hit, just smacked you across the room, that's the one I was trying to get you to look at. Instead, you were focusing on these small guys. Cool. Now we just need to find Rudu. Ruto. There she is, all the way over there. Just I idly standing where there's a ton of monsters and whatnot. I mean, maybe she's friendly with the jellyfish. Maybe it's because I am not an aquatic person that they uh, attack me, but. Uh, no proof that they want to attack her. We got 21. I somehow skip the fact that we got 20. I'm probably gonna rewatch this episode and remember I, I said, oh good, we got 20. Okay. I believe we'll come in here. She'll see what? The light medallion. Well, unfortunately, that doesn't unlock anything, does it? Because that's given to you in the normal game. I always gotta deal with my favorite mini boss of the game. This terribly designed uh, thing. I can't remember. I feel like I figured out something last time. I don't remember what it was. I feel like the point of it is they, um, uh, 
make you run around, but because he's just like slightly faster than you, it's like super annoying. I don't want to say, I can't remember what I did, but I found something that was like way easier. And actually that was incredibly easy, so I'm just going to do that from now on. <laughs> just try over and over again, getting him to turn around. Man, that was quick. That was honestly the point where I was like, ah, this is probably going to take me a second to get through because it can be kind of annoying. But you know what, that was way smoother than I think I've ever done it. After 20 something years I'm finally getting good at this game. Potentially, I don't know. I might still be objectively bad at it. Okay. Now we come over here and grab one of these chests. And the way this guy down. Well, maybe if we put it on the switch, that would be helpful. Okay, yeah, we are not far from finishing this guy. Twenty-three. No, I want. I want that guy. There we go. All right. Hopefully this doesn't take us any time, because this guy's not terrible. Okay, except for the fact that my Z control was making me look at a wall uh, instead of the big electricity monster. Accidentally hit him at the right moment. Can we hit the guy that we're trying to hit? Oh, God, I hate it when the Z target breaks like that. I feel like that is a cheat move because it's not my fault that um, trying to focus in on a target Ooh. and now I'm just staring at my boomerang as it curls away from me okay let's get this last jellyfish and then it's game over man Sure, a couple of jump attacks would have gotten him. Nice. How many rupees are we going to get? Five. Twenty. Doesn't matter because we are filled up. 
It's a heart. <laughs> and not even like a heart piece heart. Yeah, come on, let's leave. Well, at least we can say we completed it. Oh, right. All right, well, that whole dungeon was kind of a major letdown because I don't think we got anything useful from it. We got the light medallion, which doesn't trigger anything. So, yeah, I'm going to end the episode. But first, since we're literally right here, see what this guy is going to give us, because it's got to be good. We can hold 20 Deku Sticks. Okay. Well, you know, at least it's better than a Deku Stick. <laughs> it is much more preferable. But anyways, that's where we'll leave it. Uh, I guess not terrible. We technically did two dungeons, I guess, even though the bottom of the well doesn't give us anything. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.